And now joining us with more on the continuing conflict with Iran, please welcome Emily Landau, Senior Research Fellow at the Institute for National Security Studies. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. All right, so first of all, to, just to begin, you know, we know what Iran's rhetoric is in terms of threatening the Middle East, especially Israel. How does that line up with their uh, military capabilities, though? Well, it depends what you're focusing on. If you focus on the Iranian military, um, it's vastly inferior, obviously, to the U.S. military and also to the Israeli military. But Iran has other ways of making its, uh, I would say, aggressive impact felt across the Middle East. Um, it uses connections with proxies. Mm -hmm. And we know the relationship with Hezbollah in Lebanon. Um, they've, they're also cultivating ties with the Islamic Jihad, uh, with Hamas. And this is the way Iran is operating. They're slowly, slowly trying to make their presence permanent in different states across the Middle would you, East. Would you call their campaign successful then? In, you know, uh Say, say they had a 50-year you know, plan, which for all we know, we pro they probably do. Are they on track? Well, I don't know what their 50-year plan is, but in terms of their hegemonic aspirations for the region, what we see playing out is in line with their aspirations. In other words, this uh, land bridge that you know, everyone talks about from sure. Iran through Iraq, through Syria, Lebanon, and to the Mediterranean. So we see you know, they're making their footprint felt in Iraq. Obviously in Syria and certainly in Lebanon. Right. Um, they're also uh, making sure that Lebanon is well stocked with missiles. This, by the way, is in violation of UN Security Council mm -hmm. Resolution 1701 from the end of the Second Lebanon War. Exactly. Nobody is paying attention to that. Nobody is doing anything. Well, the peacekeepers haven't really been doing a whole lot along the border no. either. Well, but let's also talk a little bit about powers. let's talk a little bit about Zarif's appearance at the G7. What do you make of that that appearance? <laughs> Well, this is a, look, this is all in the context of the efforts to get Iran uh, to stop doing what it's doing and mm -hmm. to come back uh, to the negotiation table. The United States uh, would like to negotiate a better deal. That's what this is all about. Sure. Uh, Macron has jumped in now with a proposal that it seems is about um, offering Iran a deal whereby Iran has begun to breach the deal, as you know. They're, sure. they're yeah. enriching uh, to a higher level than they were supposed to, not too they're much higher. They're stockpiling more than they And they're were, stockpiling yeah. more than they're allowed, according to the deal. They're taking, you know, slow measures, trying to scare the Europeans little, to do more to steps. help them, little baby steps. But what Macron's proposal is, if they come back to the fold of the um, deal, they will be allowed to export more oil. Now, this is the exact wrong message that you want to deliver to Iran in the context so of this negotiation. A, why is that? Why, why because you what say you're that? saying to Iran is your provocative tactics work. What did Iran do? It was, you know, abiding by the minimal concessions that they made according to the deal. Yes. Uh, by the way, in other respects, it was not really in full compliance. It, uh, media doesn't usually talk about that. Um, so they started breaching a little bit and because they want to get sanctions lifted. That's mm -hmm. their goal, is to get the sanctions lifted. Right. So by these small breaches, they're getting sanctions lifted. They're not losing anything. They're just coming back to the deal that they were in in any case. And the Europeans, before they started uh, violating the deal, the Europeans said there will be consequences. We will put more sanctions on Iran. And at the end, they're saying, no, we want right. to lift sanctions so that they come back to the deal. That is not the way to negotiate All with right. the Iranians. <laughs> well, for our next interview with you, we would like the answer. What is the right way? Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome.